For more on China's relationship with the EU, let's turn now to Remy Piet. He's a senior partner at Ambelli Advisory. Great to have you on the program, Remy. Now, there's a lot at stake here for both China and Europe, but what is China hoping to get out of this visit to, to Europe? Well, that's a very good question, Sally, to set the stage. Thank you. Uh, in, in, in terms of that relationship between China and, and Germany, it's very central to a series of uh, industrial collaboration that are nascent, especially in, in, in sectors such as EV, uh, electric vehicles. I mean, your documentary made exactly the point uh, in terms of, of what China has to gain towards increased collaboration with European countries and manufacturers. Uh, there's a, a clearly a, a collaboration in terms of technology that can you know, be mutually uh, benefiting here. And China is, is, understands this, and that's why Li Qiang is paying visit to uh, to Germany. Then we'll go to France, another uh, you know country with uh, with strong potential for industrial you know collaborations. Uh, and we're seeing uh, across across the map you know a, a series of, of joint investment and targeted you know a vision towards what will be the economy of the future, what will be the sectors to jointly develop and, and technology collaboration mm -hmm. on. on EV batteries and others. And choosing Germany to, to be the first stop is sending a very strong message, isn't it? I mean, Germany is China's biggest trading partner in Europe. Tell us more about that relationship and how the two are sort of building their relationship in, in terms of trade and the economy. So, uh, first of all, when you look at Germany and, and China, historically over the last couple of decades, it's been a very strong collaboration, especially you know around the person of Angela Merkel that has you know strengthened collaboration between China and and, and Germany. You're looking at rebuilding with a, a, new, a chancellor that has you know a coalition of, of different interests, uh, probably not the same charisma, but very interesting you know take on, on maybe more pragmatic approach to its relation with, with, with China uh, on that level. Li Qiang and and, and I've, chose, I've, I've tried to develop a, a stronger partnership on this. There's also very interesting to see the kind of, of meetings that were between different ministries on questions of energy in terms of critical mineral you know, uh, uh, supplies, in terms of technological developments, you know, mobility and, and, and sustainability. And those are questions on, on climate change mitigations and, 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 and technology that will be central also in the next visit in Paris, uh, where you know, both you know, German domestic interests of the coalition of Scholz will be interested in pushing more collaboration with the Chinese mm -hmm. on climate change mm -hmm. and more commitment. And that will be seen in terms of the global, new global financing pact uh, summit in Paris, uh, starting, if I don't turn that wrong, tomorrow or the day after. Right. So that's right. So, so we're, we're going to see uh, Lee head to Paris later this week for this new global financing pact. Give us a bit more information about this particular pact and what China's role is likely to be. So um, we've seen some different calls here in terms of, of uh, rebuilding an infrastructure, an architecture, as I say, between big powers on central issues. You know, the G20 has been built, uh, you know, between Western powers and, and others uh, and emerging uh, countries. Uh, China is obviously a key partner in those you know, infrastructure and financial infrastructure conversation, especially when we look at debt and, and, and trying to alleviate, you know, uh, the, the debt of, 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 uh, of emerging countries specifically. And those are questions and, and, and discussions that will happen, you know, for further along this week in Paris in terms of, you know, presence of different head of states. Uh, President Lula from Brazil will be there, President Nussi from Mozambique with a very large potential for uh, um, natural gas and being a player in terms of energy security here. A lot of different head of states will be present and discuss those issues. And so we're looking more at an element of more economic, industrial, you know, partnership here in that part of the visit from Li Qiang to, uh, to, uh, to Germany. And then it will be more an aspect of, uh, you know, political and, and, and geopolitics discussions around that summit in Paris, although there's strong collaboration between France and China, especially on car manufacturing and technologies and energy, uh, nuclear energy also uh, over the last few, few months and years that have developed that will be talked upon on the side of those summits. All right. Remy Piet, really appreciate it. Senior partner at Ambelli Advisory.